Okay, it is a couple days later, weeks later. I don't know how long it's been since the last clip. To be honest, we've been busy. We've been driving around the Miata. A lot of things to address on that thing, but we'll get to that later. It's got some rattly things and some random noises and just stuff that have changed or aged within time. So we've also taken the liberty of painting the whole fencing because the wood was starting to get ruined. Now we have expanded our uh, land farther that way so you don't see the cows but they're gonna be there but at least we won't be hearing them in the background mooing for now we're going to get stuck into the exhaust and hopefully finally finish it today where we left off last was um, you guys didn't see this far I believe I left off welding and we're not done welding we're not done grinding a bad welders best friend is the grinder it's starting to look like something starts off here OEM like and then comes out the back, hits a V-band, and then from the V-band, we're going to continue. Now, a lot of this unevenness we're going to address, don't worry. It's also going to be uh, wrapped in header wrap, so to avoid any heat going onto other things. So let's put this snail looking thing back in the car, and then let's reroute it, follow it to the back. <laughs> Okay, as I said, we left off at the V-band. This V-band here, it's pretty much free, ready to go. We need a straight shot back. Then we're gonna go this way with it so that we can come somewhere under here. So right now our job is to get from here to this side as easy as we can at the highest point, which looks like right here, and then shoot it across the back. I don't want to do tons of welding because obviously I'm not the best at it. Whenever I want to do welding, I, I mean, everybody wants to learn how to weld. Well, most of us. And it sucks that, you know, whenever you go to weld, it's on something that's going to go online. But, you know, that's how you learn. And unfortunately, I never learned how to weld. I didn't go to school for welding. And uh, in the real world, it's where you actually learn things most of the time. So we're just going to jump in straight forward and uh, yeah, uh, slow and steady we'll learn how to weld better. But for now, we're gonna just make do with what we got. First step is throwing a very aggressive cut on the end uh, just so we can quickly get that turn and have it not shoot straight down into the floor. That took longer than expected, but we got a decent angle. We had to go into construction zone angles and uh, not so much exhaust angles, but I think we'll be able to get away with it because we do have a three inch exhaust for a four cylinder, so we should be okay. So this one is going to go somewhere here. We have only tack welded the inside. We haven't done much more than that, just to keep this in place. If I start welding on this outside lip, we're gonna start getting into the territory of not being able to put on the V-band. We don't want that. So we're going to try to eliminate that option. Uh, she's gonna look something like this. And I'll be able to turn this anyway. Thanks to that V-band, I'll be able to get it perfect. We were under the car messing with a V-band. As you guys know, you rotate it, the, the whole thing shifts in terms of the point that you have. And we are at the point that we can still shift it and get away with going different directions. Let me show you guys. This is the routing we had, technically. You guys can see down, across, and then follow the actual routing that the car is supposed to have, right? Or, we did this whole thing and it kind of works. So obviously it's loose here, but if we were to put it right here, it just so happens to fit perfect. We could tuck it probably higher up as it is now and throw it straight back, go in here, across, 
and then shoot out that exhaust side because originally this car is supposed to have the exhaust coming this way but it makes more sense to bring it back this way since we are going to be removing our fuel lines and making our own fuel lines that kind of doesn't matter in terms of the safety aspect right we're going to run to the auto parts store i'm going to hope to find some pre-cut or some not pre-cut some pre-bent three inch pipe so that we can kind of like make it our own way so we can avoid all those extra bends and get there quicker this curve right here whether it comes this way or this way this is going to be hard to replicate and as you guys know i'm not the best welder so if we can get those curves from someone else's pre-bent pipe that'd be ideal i'm going to take you guys on a little spin in the miata so you guys can hear all the mess i hear I'm going to do my best so that you guys can hear it and uh, I can still drive safely. So we'll see how it goes. There's a little squeak in the engine bay. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm getting old. I don't appreciate loud cars as much as I used to. but it sounds like a Honda. I remember it sounding different 11 years ago. All right, so we have a bunch of stuff here. The main thing you guys need to see is we have new gloves. I'll let you know how those go. And two is we're going to be going from a three inch to a uh, two and a half. I don't love those uh, flexible things as much more than you guys do. We have all these things. We're going to see what we can come up with today as efficiently as possible so that this car is on the road as fast as possible because we've been going a little too slow for my liking. I got a little spark of motivation from a friend in his K-swapped RX-8, which I got to show you guys before he sells because he sells everything. I was supposed to have a very nice uh, time lapse for you guys. Not sure how much I got, but the exhaust is 60% done it's routed all the way but now we just have to weld the whole thing <sighs> I'm kind of down here just so for the sake of uh, showing you guys in this side around here instead of going that way we went across or we went farther back the exhaust is going to create some heat and if we can get it routed away from the transmission that will allow our transmission to not run as hot so we just kept it going back went across right under the drive shaft you guys can tell it's not sitting where it's going to sit. It's probably going to sit farther up, to be honest. But it's a close call. Worst case scenario, we'll cut it and then have it drop just a touch more. But I think it should be able to work right there since the wheels are pretty much at full extent. And then so we went across, went back, and then we used those auto parts bends. As you guys can tell, it's just tacked. It's not even fully welded. But... We use the auto parts uh, 45 degree angles. We went a 45 degree up and a 45 degree back and then made a small little uh, cut onto this one so that it's at an angle and then come straight back to where our exhaust is. And we haven't made our hangers yet. Let me throw a couple more tacks on this thing and then I will pull it out and show you the whole baby on the welding table. It's gonna be pretty satisfying. This is gonna be nice. I figured if I was going to make an exhaust with the least amount of welds would probably be ideal for me oh one more thing from here to here obviously it's very straightforward and it is a straight pipe but once we have a muffler it should be able to fit somewhere in this area just fine that's the main reason we kind of just left that long piece there we'll cut it somewhere and then add that muffler to the end
All right, let me show you guys what we're working with. So it goes down from the engine, through the tunnel, behind the transmission, across the tunnel, right beside the drive shaft, right here, up and over, up and over the axle, and then out the tailpipe. And then of course, we said this one here is to be determined. And we're going to be adding, I'm pretty sure somewhere in this area, maybe in this connection or somewhere down here, a secondary V-band so that this part of the exhaust is maybe easier just because this gets a little tricky to snake out. I want to TIG weld it. My TIG welder's over there. The problem is that I'm out of gas and it's late and I can't get any argon gas at this time at night. And we're going to weld this thing first thing tomorrow morning. We're gonna wake up bright and early and try to knock this thing out. And maybe I can find a muffler by tomorrow and avoid that nasty tailpipe sticking out the rear. So we'll see how that goes. See you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early. That's the Miata life. You gotta hate it, you gotta love it. Make sure it doesn't break something. These sleeves are weird. I'm sure I'm doing this wrong. I put it through the bottom, but I think it's supposed to go through your neck, but that feels even worse because it chokes you. So we're gonna go with this. Plus it helps it stay up because I have short arms. Now let's get to work. Okay guys, we are done. I did a whole pass throughout the whole thing, cleaned it up, and then came back and saw that they were little like needle, or what do they call them? Like little tiny, tiny holes in some spots that didn't seal 100%. So I went back and got those arranged. Now the biggest thing is, it's not pretty, okay? It's not pretty, but you know what? I was going to clean them up and make it look better and everything, but I think I'm just gonna embrace the process. Plus it's faster. We're gonna get this thing back in the car quicker. And to be honest, I don't have time to be grinding down all of these beauty marks is what we'll call them. So the best or the worst comment or the person that can roast me the best in the comments is going to get one of these stickers that we're gonna make. So yeah, if you guys want a chance to get a free decal like this one, uh, roast me in the comments. I'll pick a couple. We're gonna start off on this side. So over here, I didn't if you see, it doesn't look like there's much weld. The problem is I didn't want to weld across this side and then it interfere with the clamp that goes on it. So the weld job was in the inside. So that is probably like the nicest one because you can't see it. Then we move on to things like this, that. You guys get the idea. That's the main reason also why we went to go buy these bends and saved us a little bit more welding, a little bit more grinding, because the reality is we're not experts, but guess what, we're gonna learn. A lot of those guys you see online that like throw out these beautiful beads, you don't realize how hard it is until you're sitting on this table doing it yourself, and that's when the respect side comes in. So yes, it's horrible, but can you do better? Maybe you can. Now that we're done welding, we're gonna throw this thing in the car hopefully it still fits because things tend to shift a little bit and then once it's in the car we still have to do a couple hangers whoa yes he finally made it here with his crap box how'd it go i need a new clutch he at least he drove it here he made it it turned off when he arrived but he made well, it I which is it off. I, it, I can it, it turn, and off. turn it on just, right now. No, just. I'm gonna lay down. But essentially, it comes down from the headers all the way back across where the drive shaft goes, and then out the right side or left side, I guess. And uh, yeah, <sighs> it took a little bit longer, and it's not as pretty as we'd like. But it's an exhaust. Remember, we're not gonna leave it straight pipe. We got some mufflers, but I wanna put something a little bit nicer. So if you know Honda exhaust, link down below, please. And I will 
see if I can get something a little nicer. <sighs> I forgot to make an outro, and so this is an outro. Um, I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. A lot of you guys that are sticking around the 86. It's uh, been a bit of a long one, and I'd like for it to be, be done faster. Reality is, uh, there's a bunch of other things going on in life, and uh, the YouTube videos don't make enough to pay bills. So I do these when I can, and uh, I'm having fun with it, but they are taking longer than they should. Luckily, though, we have a pretty nice little family going on here on the YouTube. Things are going great so far. I'm having fun with it, and that's the important part. Move the 86 out of the way because the shop is full again. 86, uh, Adrian's 86 is back. We're gonna be doing it, a little bit of an exhaust work on his. I don't think you guys will see it unless you guys want me to throw a small clip in there. It's pretty much done. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And if you guys uh, like the video, hit the thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.